Hello Vlogineers, today we're going to unbox and demo KiwiCo Eureka Crate. This is a monthly subscription box that lets you build cool stuff. And if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Today we're building a tilt and fold desk. The desk looks actually quite So nice. here is the maker's guide. Let's see how many parts there are. Wait, wait. Shoot, this one seems a little no, thick. No, no, here. Okay, the time is only 1.25 hours. Uh, Last time it said two hours, so this one's... How much is 1.25? That's less than 90 minutes, according to them. The complexity is medium, the skills are wood assembly and cord routing. Alright, let's see the components. So this is a... Is this a cord? With foam? Oh, zip tie. Oh, boy, let's see this. Screw and nail. Oh Whoa. Than ever. There's so much wood. Than ever. More wood. That's weird that they had a package this in a separate thing. Like yeah. why couldn't they go with a big box? Maybe these are just the big pieces of wood. Where's the zip ties? These but I don't want to see it. That's why I put it there. Oh yeah, there's clear zip ties. And that's it. Not just clear zip ties. Can you see the white ones too? Wait, where are the clear zip ties? Those are white zip ties, not clear. Okay. They're not clear. That was a sh that was the shortest unboxing ever because we're we're not gonna go through all of this. That's it for the unboxing. On to the building. Okay, so part part A has thirteen steps. Okay, if the part has less than twelve steps, I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> he just. No, then I'll stay. But if it has more than twelve, I'll help. Okay. So part A is building the front and the center of the desk. Okay, I'll just this, help. I'll this will get the structure of your desk started. Let's try to, here, this time let's try to do it within the time. So that's, let's just do 90 minutes. Okay. Ready? Oh wow, this is the best thing ever. There's only these there's only two sizes this time. Last time there were like five sizes. Four. Okay, four. There's only this and a screwdriver and these things and wood and that's it. The angled edge goes on the bottom right for step one. And then I insert the short, the short one through the back. Oh, the hardest thing about this one is just finding the pieces since there's so much wood. Okay, there needs to be one of these, but with a slot in the middle. How about you just... Here, you're in charge of finding. I'm in charge of building. Fine, I'll deal with that. So, with the short ones, we need to knot both of them? Oh, no. Mom. Wait, 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 wait. Here, we're going to do some magic. Uh, brother's gonna snap his fingers, and then these will be knotted. Okay. okay? One, two, three. Ta-da! They're knotted. Yeah. I snap my fingers, I tell for you there, and they got knotted. That gives us a free pass for step five. We're now step six. Okay, I hope we did this correctly because if not, it would take ages to reassemble and at that point I think I would just give up. You know, this looks not bad. Yeah, it looks correct. Okay, mm -hmm. and that is the end of part A. Build the front and center. We're going straight to part B. Don't sit on it. Don't sit on it. Part B is finishing the desktop. This is what you'll write on or draw on or read on or whatever. So, we're starting on the left side this time. We use the same thing from part A. And we'll take... Hold on, this step has eight. Oh, this part only has eight steps. This is starting to look like a table, actually.
What do you call a cow with three legs? A tripod. <laughs> a tri <laughs> I mean, tri tip. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. <laughs> <coughs> So we realized that we did a time lapse for too long and that time we finished part C, which was just finishing the table. And then in part D, we uh, we make the legs so that they can go down and up and I'll show that later. And now we're trying to insert these things. Uh, right now we're on the part where if you bring this down, then you can like adjust it. And then once you make it the adjustment you want, and you get it back up. Okay, like that. Okay, wait, before the time lapse, uh, I'm gonna show you what I built in part D. So, if you, if you do, if you pull this thing back, then this is able to fold down. I'm now on the final step of part E, the final step of everything, and it's just pushing this in. <laughs> Ready? But it says push it in hard. Done. Okay, no, no, no. Hey, shush! The purpose of this thing <laughs> is so that you can put a book here or like a, really anything. Or homework here. Or, or like an iPad. Wait, what did they say here? It can hold books, tablets, and more. Okay. Thank you. Now. Oh, that's pretty okay. tall, actually. Now I'm gonna pull eight. Other way. Well, I got it. Oh, oh no. This way? Yeah. Now, this hurry, hurry, hurry. This way? Yes, all, is it all the way? Oh, yes, I have a new desk. That's a mini. Oh, look, it's a table on the table. Okay. And that is our desk. The whole thing, the folding mechanisms are all made possible by the bungee cords. Uh, where you can fold the legs in or move them like this way. They have a whole page on the science of the stretch. And that is it. If this looks interesting to you. If this looks fun to you, you can purchase this on the link in the description. Bye. Where's Calvin? Woo.